How many people can hammock on a line at the same time? Check it out on this episode of How Not to Highline. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinks and welcome to my gear room. We did an experiment by putting 10 slack liners on a slack line to see what the forces would be. This experiment was inspired by the Ticket to the Moon project that was in Bismontova, Italy, where they put 18 slack liners in hammocks on a 50 meter high line. Their max force on that project was 30 kilonewtons, and I wanted to see in real time what the forces were every time we added a single person to a slack line. And we did two tests. We did a slack line with low tension, as low as we could while still being able to get on it. And then we pulled it as hard as we could with my 15 to 1 and got about 1,700 pounds of force and put everyone back on the line. So we did this project in pounds of force instead of kilonewtons because we know our weight in pounds and I really wanted kind of an apples for apples comparison. Now we did this project with the MK4 from Balanced Community, commonly known as Flight. It's a polyester webbing, low stretch, which made this project possible in the park. Its MBS is 42 kilonewtons or 9,450 pounds of force. So it's plenty strong for what we're doing. Now the reason this information is so important and relevant to me is because in a few weeks, probably about the time you're watching this, I am going to be rigging the space net at GGBY with about 10 to 15 nets. And that's a lot of surface area that people could get on. But every person seems to add like a kilonewton from our experience in the past. And we want to find out how to make our webbing stronger by making parallel redundancies where they both hold the force and how much force each person is actually putting on the system. So we can get the most number of people on the nets at GGBY safely. Okay, uh, put person number one on. Yeah. yeah, how much do you weigh? Uh, Thomas weighs 140 pounds, 135 pounds. Kim weighs 125 pounds. Another 125 pounds. <laughs> How much do you weigh? 210. 210. Ooh, 210. 8 kilos. What are you? 8 kilos. 58. So 58 kilograms. 165. Seven people on this line at 1,760 pounds of force. That's pretty good. That's like a really aggressive whipper. So about a thousand pounds of slackliners put about 1,700 pounds of force on our loose slackline, which had almost no tension before and after. And before we get to the higher tension test with 10 slackliners this time, let me troll myself for you. I filmed that a couple months back and I've been better about having at least my web locks on camera with my tails tied off. And so it is important to take your tail and put it behind the web lock like this and to tie it off because slippage is a thing. And then you just take that and make like this overhand knot over the web lock. And if you have enough tail, you would do it again. Most of the time I do it twice. And more often than not, I will take this and clip it to the soft shackle or shackle or whatever I've got um, just so this can't slip especially with the kind of stuff that we're doing, putting 10 slack liners on it. So now we put the same amount of tension on both the main and the backup line, so they'll both be working in parallel for our next test. Okay, so we tension these the same way. The first one was 950 pounds of force. The other one would technically be the same. Together they're holding 1,700-ish with no one on the line. Okay, 1692, go! 140 pounds. Jules is 135. Wow. Sean, 160. Kyle at 165. Brandon, 185. Kim, 125. Jess at 125. Whoa, Mike at 210. Danny at 58 kilos. Zoli, 175, and Ryan at 165 pounds, it's 3,200, 3,268, 3,196, 3,212, 
Wow, with everyone on there, we lost 700 pounds of force. It's 1,100 pounds of force now that everyone is off of it. Woo! Woo! So 1,700 pounds of force put about 3,300-ish pounds of force on the slackline with 10 slackliners on it. Now, I'm not quite sure why it didn't really increase at all after I got on there. Uh, maybe I'm just full of hot air. But uh, it could stretch, slip, or just people moving around differently can change the forces. Slack lines are not a static environment. Everything's always moving in the forces. Now consider that some slack lines, like tubular webbing, break at 4,000 pounds of force. And you really want a 5 to 1 safety ratio if you're going to put 10 or 18 slack liners on a single high line in order to uh, do a cool project like Ticket to the Moon. Now the people who did Ticket to the Moon put a lot of thought and effort into keeping a 5 to 1 safety ratio even with 30 kilonewtons on their high line. Just so you know, when you start putting a bunch of highliners on a single high line or a space net, that things can get really complicated on the rigging, and it's not just a normal high line rig anymore. And if you fuck up, you could kill 18 people at one time. Therefore, you shouldn't try to do cool projects.